Hello everyone, I am Sebastian Schulteis, Research Assistant at Hamburg University of Applied Sciences. Together with my colleague Helena Häusler, we are happy to present our paper Does Search Engine Optimization Come Along with High Quality Content? that is co-authored by Dirk Lewandowski. In 2020, about one in two EU citizens searched online for health-related information and used search engines to make important medical decisions. The quality of information that consumers use for their medical decisions is of great importance, since consumers are lay people in medical issues, which makes it challenging for them to evaluate the quality of information. An extensive literature review by Sun et al. revealed that lay people evaluate the quality of health information by source and content related criteria, such as expertise and objectivity. Elements of the websites can serve as indicator for the criteria. For example, when a user perceives that a website is pushing to sell something, this can be considered an indicator that negatively affects the criterion of objectivity. To achieve a higher visibility for their content, content producers, such as health information providers, can make use of search engine optimization, in short, SEO. SEO can be defined as the practice of optimizing web pages in a way that improves their ranking in the organic search results. SEO is a multi-billion dollar industry and has a measurable influence on results rankings. To sum up, SEO can be seen as an expression of the content producer's predominantly commercial interests. Indicators like commercial interests are perceived by the users and influence how they think about those websites. Our goal is to find out whether the presence or absence of SEO measures allows conclusions to be drawn about the content quality of those pages. Therefore, our central research questions are 1. What differences can be found in the quality assessments of health-related web pages when the pages are differentiated by presence or absence of SEO? Two, what are the differences between the evaluations of lay people and those of experts? And three, how do lay people justify their evaluations of optimized and non-optimized pages? We conducted a user study in April and May of 2021. Two groups participated in our study, namely lay people and experts. We start with explaining the study part for lay people. We invited 50 lay people with a wide variety of educational and professional backgrounds. Each lay person received screenshots of two optimized and two non-optimized web pages. For this purpose, we automatically identified optimized and non-optimized pages for health-related queries, such as for the query asthma by using our SEO classification tool before carrying out our study. The lay people evaluated the four pages for the criteria presented here, for example, trustworthiness, expertise and objectivity, by using sliders shown below the screenshots. These criteria are among the most frequently chosen by users when assessing the quality of online health information. While evaluating the web pages, lay people commented on their actions by thinking aloud. The statements were recorded, transcribed, and linked to the criteria mentioned before. For comparison purposes, we also invited 11 medical librarians, here and after referred to as experts. The experts assessed the same web pages as the lay people using the same criteria, but without thinking aloud protocols. Let us now proceed to the key results of our study, starting with the web page evaluations. We analyzed whether web page optimization or group affected the evaluation of web page quality by conducting analysis of variance for each criterion. We defined optimization of a web page as the within subjects variable and group as the between subjects factor. We only found significant results for the criterion expertise. Non-optimized pages were considered more competent than optimized pages. This is independent of whether the assessment was made by a layperson or by an expert. To find out which web page types the optimized and non-optimized pages are, we have assigned all pages of our study to different web page categories. The classification revealed that optimized web pages are much more often commercially motivated, 
for example, a page of a pharmaceutical company, then non-optimized pages are, for example, a page of the German Obesity Society. I will now hand over to my colleague Helena for the rest of the presentation. Thanks. I will continue to report our results in terms of the reasons the lay people mentioned for their web page evaluations, again for the criterion of expertise. We look at the most frequent statements, starting with the pair of contrast website operator appears competent. This pair of contrast includes all positive or negative statements regarding the website operator's competence. In other words, statements that assume the operator's competence shown in blue or not assume the operator's competence shown in orange. If a page is, for example, by a university clinic, this was commented on positively. In the case of obviously non-medical websites, on the other hand, the competence is commented on negatively. We can see a difference between optimized and non-optimized web pages. Optimized pages receive both positive and negative comments, whereas non-optimized pages receive not only more, but exclusively positive statements. Similar results with advantage for non-optimized pages were also observed for the pair of contrast website operator seems reputable. Let us now come to a brief conclusion. In this user study, we investigated whether quality differences are perceived between health-related web pages that engage in search engine optimization and pages that do not. We found that, compared to optimized pages, non-optimized pages were attributed a higher level of expertise, and they are less often commercially motivated, for example, pages of public institutions. The lay people justify their assessments mainly with the more competent and reputable appearance of non-optimized web pages. Therefore, there is a risk that high quality but non-optimized content could be outranked by optimized content of lower quality. And this could lead to search engine users missing out on relevant information, which in turn result in uninformed or even harmful decisions. Hence, our study has implications for non-commercially motivated content producers to strengthen their focus on SEO, as well as for search engine operators, as they should give priority in their rankings to sources that possess expertise. Promising starting points for future research include the repetition of the study with doctors instead of medical librarians and the transferability of the results to other topics such as political information. At the end of our presentation, we would like to thank you very much for listening and we are looking forward to your questions. On this slide, you will find the references of our talk as well as the link to the webpage of the research project SEO Effect in which the study was conducted.